Should we stay or should we go? There's so much speculation and conjecture around the Brexit, it's hard to separate the fact from the fiction and make an informed decision. The main concerns driving the desire for EU exit are immigration and sovereignty. That's the ability to govern ourselves. So what do we know about these two issues? If the UK votes to leave the European Union, we'd have the ability to close our borders to EU immigrants. Immigrants would then need to satisfy certain criteria to gain entry, just like immigrants from outside of the EU currently. Existing EU immigrants living in the UK would likely be permitted to stay, as is likely to be the case with UK citizens living abroad, but this would depend on each country's own government. UK citizens wishing to move permanently to another EU country following an exit would need to meet the visa requirements of that destination. However, they're unlikely to require visas for short stays. The UK would still be obligated to accept asylum seekers, as this is a matter of international law and not governed by Europe. When it comes to EU directives from Brussels, a vote to leave would put our government back in the driving seat on issues such as agriculture, fishing, justice and home affairs. However, we might still have to accept some EU rules and conditions in order to establish a trade agreement, and freedom of movement could be one of them. That means EU immigrants would still be free to reside in the UK and benefit from our welfare and healthcare system. Both Norway and Switzerland had to agree to unrestricted immigration as part of the arrangements they came to with the EU over free trade. And even though they're not EU members, they still have to contribute hundreds of millions of euros to it. What's more, because they're not full members, they don't have any say in EU directives because they don't have voting rights. Switzerland now wants to put a cap on immigration levels, but the proposals are still being drafted, so the EU's response, and the possibility the UK could make similar demands, remains to be seen. If the UK opted to go it alone completely and exit the EU single market, we must consider our nation's power to negotiate trade deals on the global stage. Is there greater strength in numbers, or do we have enough economic might independently? No one knows for certain, and no one knows exactly what route the UK would take should an EU exit be voted for. A post-Brexit UK-EU relationship would only begin to take shape after a vote to leave. There would be a period of uncertainty during this time, and economists agree this is likely to affect our economy and currency in the short term, until everything is hammered out. However, there are also uncertainties around staying in the EU, such as what will happen to the euro and whether Turkey is going to become a member. There are many unknowns, but knowing this and understanding that an exit won't necessarily be the answer to major concerns such as immigration can help you to make an informed vote on June 23rd.